Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for the Handmaid's Tale Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Kim over at Teacher Loves Beauty. And I am happy to say I do have one empty today, which is awesome. And it's one of my favorite items. So I will go through the prompts. I only have six items leading into this update. So I was feeling pretty good. Now this project does go through August of this year, August 25th. So still several months to go, but let me share with you the item I can roll out. This is for the commander. He shows favor to off red and plays Scrabble with her at night. So you were to bring in a product whose title would give you the most points in the game Scrabble. I went with the word enzyme. And so for that, I brought in the Indy Lee CoQ10 Coenzyme Q10 Toner by Indy Lee. I probably said that already. And this is one of my favorite toners. I love it. I have at least a couple more of these in my collection. It's awesome. I typically will spray a couple sprays onto a cotton pad and then apply it to my face. I love it. But it's an empty. I'm working on a different toner now, which is not as good as this one. <laughs> this one's bomb. And I usually can find them at like boxy charm pop-ups or Bad fit fun pop-ups for like super cheap. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> All right, the items I'm still working on. The first one is for Serena Joy. She is sneaky and makes deals to try to save herself in Alfred. I'm looking at my iPad, by the way, if you didn't figure that out. <laughs> so you're to bring in a product that saves your makeup or beauty routine or look. So for me, that is always Mac Fix Plus. <laughs> Stay. So for, I brought in this limited edition packaging from Mac. It's the cherry blossom bottle. I think it's the cherry blossom scent too, but I don't notice the scent so much. I am really close on this, as you can see. I'm almost done. I probably would have had this finished, this update, but I traveled a lot in the month of March. It's not May yet, March. But we still have, I just shook the bottle a lot because I was laughing at myself. <laughs> but yeah, so there's still a little bit left there at the bottom. I will definitely have this done by the next update, which is awesome. I do have a couple of other like facial sprays I need to work on. So I am happy to be really close to finishing this. My favorite. My favorite. The next prompt is for Nick, the commander's chauffeur. Serena Joy arranges for him to have a relationship with Offred in order for her to be able to have a child. He and Offred end up having a relationship that went way beyond Serena's wishes. And now you were to bring in a product that drives you crazy. So I brought in this brow product. I forgot to mark this. I'll mark it. There's a cat in here. I hear him. The cats are chasing. Hi, Marley. <laughs> Hi, Sixter. Hey, buddy. Hi. Marley, what are you doing? Anyway, brow product. Drives me crazy because it takes forever to use. I've been using this since the intro in November. And I'm still not done with it. So this is the ABH Brow Definer in dark brown. <laughs> and these take forever because it's the tear. Well, let me get the hairs off there. They take forever because it's the teardrop shape. You know, it's not the pencil. The pencil you can get through fairly quickly, but this teardrop shape takes so much longer to get through. I don't feel like it's that much more product, but anyway, I am hoping I can have this done by the next update. That's how much I have left. Oh, you guys, it just takes so long, so long to get through. Drives me crazy. 
And then, you know, it takes a long, then your cap busts. Where's my little break? Oh, can you see the break? Where is it? It's right there. You probably can't see it because of the glare. Hmm. <laughs> oh, annoying. Okay, next prompt is Aunt Lydia. She is the trainer of the handmaids, and you are to bring in a product that you have to train yourself to use. I have not used this once. <laughs> What was that? Did they break something? There was almost a wax dent. I have not used this once. I don't think. Maybe once? Oh, lordy. Okay, this is the Kevin Aquan Contour Sculpting Powder in Medium. It's a contour powder. I have not used it once. I want to hit pan on it. I am so close, I think. And I haven't used it. Maybe once, like I said. You know, it's just a product that's like, I need to, you know what? I can use it now. I have the time. Let me just, maybe you guys can see a difference whenever I use it on camera. You don't need very much of it either. Does my nose look snatched? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I don't think I... Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Oh, it's too much. I feel like that's too much. <laughs> you tell me. Can you tell? Does my nose look smaller? I used it. <laughs> anyway, it still looks the same. <laughs> Next prompt is flowers. Flowers are capable of blooming while women cannot. So you were to bring in a product that basically has flowers somewhere on it, name, packaging on the product itself, etc. So I brought in a product from Pat McGrath. It's the blush, divine blush and divine rose. So here is the blush. I am a crazy person and decided to try to clear the imprint. What was I thinking? It's a gorgeous blush. I do feel like I've made some kind of progress on this. I have used it a few times in the month. Oh, mm, so pretty. I love this blush so much. Love the formula. Love the blush. It's gorgeous. So, but still have not cleared the imprint. So, it's still in here. The last prompt is the Handmaid's Red. And that is the color of their uniform, which is symbolic of childbirth. It portrays sin. And you were to bring in a product that you think was a sin to buy or something expensive or not needed. So, this was expensive. I don't think it was a sin to buy because I love it. <laughs> this is by Gucci. And it is the Rouge de Butte. Brilliant. And call it a day. So, here is a product. You guys, I am almost done with this. Look at this. Like, maybe three uses. Maybe. I mean, I'm really close. It's a little bit more on this side, but you can see it's like starting to break up inside. I don't know how deep it goes in there. I love this so much. So, so much. I would 100% buy this again. I don't care how much it is. I don't know if I'm going to put it on my Sephora wish list. I may get a different color if I was going to buy it again. I may get something. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe a deeper color, a little bit deeper, or maybe a, a more mauve toned color. We'll see. But I, I love this one. This one's gorgeous. Would totally buy it again. Love it. But that should be done by the next time I do this update next month. So I should have this, I should have this finished and 
this finished by the next update. So we'll still have the blush <laughs> and the contour powder. Oh, and I'll have hopefully have this finished. I'm hoping. If not, it'll be like a teeny tiny bit left, but I think I'll have this done. So I'll probably just have the two powders left. <laughs> But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're, do hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. The next prompt is Aunt Lydia. She is the trainer of handmaids. Whew. Okay, next prompt is flowers. Flowers are capable the last prompt I have is for the Handmaid's Red. The color of... Uh, the last prompt is for... No. The last prompt is the Handmaid's Red. And the uh, description of that prompt is the color... Floof oh, mm. Monster. Don't scratch me. You're gonna get hair all over me, baby. All right, go over there. Hi. Oh. Hi. Did you fall? Did you fall? Oh, don't scratch. Did you fall? I think you fell. I think you fell. Bye.